What's up, YouTube? This your boy John Hassan coming back with another update. And I know it's been like two weeks since I made one, man. <laughs> I've been trying to stay consistent, y'all, but it be hard coming up with topics sometimes, man. I've been having a lot going on, getting stuff situated, but I want to talk to y'all about. Oh yeah, look, I just got you know, still same company, still Johnson Brothers. I just got off. It's eleven o'clock here in Dallas. I went in at five. Worked a little quick. You know, five and a half hours. Easy day. Four stops. Anyway, today's video, man, I want to talk to y'all about getting my LLC because that's what I've been working on, and I actually just got it last week. So, my company's name is, I'm not telling y'all right now. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Let me stop being goofy, but my company's name is J-Lays Transportation LLC, and I use that because it's like the first letter from my first name and the first four letters from my last name. Uh, it's a family thing, but... So I got my LLC and I got my EIN through the IRS, which is your tax name for your business. So right now I'm putting together a plan. Like I'm not just hopping into this. Like I told you, I'm trying to be an owner operator, not trying. I'm going to be an owner operator. Um, I already take, took the necessary steps. I finna open a business account through my bank. That's my next step. That's what I'm working on. And um, after that, um, I already talked to a couple of truck lots and I talked to a lot of people, like I said, and I got connections. I got my sister who was an owner operator for years. I know somebody who's been an owner operator for the, owner operator for like 20 years. So I'm not just hopping in here blind. And I do have a plan because once I get my um my own truck, I'm going to lease it on to a company, like run day loads. Like I'm not going to start off with my own authority because my sister even said I need to get my feet wet first. Um, Cause nobody gonna want to give me no real good loads starting off. So I got some pretty good people in my corner to guide me along the way. But um, I really just want to talk about getting my LLC uh, in Texas. It's like three hundred dollars. That's the state fee, filing fee you have to pay. And I use a third party uh, service called Ink File. It's like Busy Ink File or something like that. B I Z E E Ink File. Um, they have a third party service. Um, and it's a lot of them. It's Zen Business, Ink File. That's another one. Can't remember the name of it. But it's a couple of them you can use. And you do have to have a registered agent when you make your LLC, but you can use yourself, though. You can be your own registered agent, use your own address. And I actually pay for, like, this virtual address. Well, it's a physical address, but it's a virtual address, too. And uh, I pay them every month. So that way, my business name is registered to this other address and not my home address. And I, you know, I'm a truck driver. How many times you out there on the road and somebody see you and curse you out on the road or, you know, almost had an accident and they can just look up the company name and report you. I don't want nobody to be able to look up my company name on side the truck or whatever and then pull up my address. So I had to register somewhere else, which was smart. And uh, I used to register agent through the company that I got my LLC through. They gave me one free for a year. So everything is kind of going through them right now. So that that's pretty good, too. Um, I didn't have to pay them nothing um, until their years up. But I'm going to probably cancel it before then because I don't really need their services. I just needed them to help me file my LLC and get stuff straight. In. But that's some quick news, a quick update that I really just wanted to tell y'all that I, I got my LLC. I got my EIN and I'm working towards becoming an owner operator right now. Like that's a. <clears throat> big step and i'm tired of working for these companies man i'm just i'm ready to get away from it and it's like what's the worst that can happen i'm always still have my cdl you know so why not try it i know a lot of people talk about the freight right now this was going on this and that man look i, I take heed to what you're saying but none of this is gonna stop me because everybody got their own journey god gotta walk for everybody Everybody going to walk their own path and go their own direction in life. And it, just because it didn't work out for you don't mean it's not going to work out for me. And, you know, I'm going to just speak positivity into myself and my business. And like I said, my sister been doing this for years. And she told me it's like one of the best things ever to do and that I really should do it. So, you know, I got people to back me up in my corner. So, But I, tell, I just wanted to make a quick update. Like I said, I just wanted to tell y'all about getting my LLC and my little plan going forward. I ain't tell y'all everything. I got some stuff in the works, but I'm going to be back with another update soon. But I'm out, y'all. Enjoy y'all day, man. All right.